Metformin is a drug that helps control the amount of glucose or sugar in the blood. Metformin is sold under the brand names Fortimet, Glucophage, Glucophage XR, Glumetza, and Riomet. Metformin can be used alone or in combination with other drugs for the treatment of type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes, and polycystic ovarian syndrome. Metformin is also used to prevent progression of prediabetes to type 2 diabetes. When we take a medication, we usually take for granted that it will work. In reality, there is a lot that goes into how your body responds to a medication. Each gene that is associated with drug metabolism, including the ATM gene, is expected to have multiple sites of variation. A single genetic variant in the ATM gene, called RS11212617, can be used to help predict the likelihood of treatment success when taking metformin. The ATM gene is thought to be involved in insulin signaling and may also influence the function of the pancreatic cells that make insulin, called beta cells. Variants in the ATM gene are not currently known to affect response to other drugs. Based on your genetic result, you will be placed into a predicted treatment response category. Individuals who have the AC or CC genetic variant result are predicted to have an increased likelihood of treatment success when taking metformin. Those with the AA genetic variant result are predicted to have a typical likelihood of treatment success when taking metformin. It is important for you and your healthcare provider to keep in mind that the predicted treatment response is based only on your ATM genetic variant result. Other information, such as your age, weight, or other medications may determine the dose and type of drugs that you are prescribed. In rare cases, the CPMC will not be able to predict a likelihood of treatment success due to a technical limitation in the testing process. Your personal CPMC results will also show you how common each predicted treatment response category is in your racial or ethnic group. You can view this information in your personal report by clicking on the About tab and then the How Common tab. Information is not available for all racial or ethnic groups. If data is not available for your race or ethnicity, your report will include information for the Caucasian population. Now let's talk more about genetic variants and how they are inherited. Everyone's DNA uses the same four building blocks, represented by the letters A, T, C, and G, to make up their genes. Differences in our genes are referred to as genetic variants. Genetic variants can be thought of as typos in the spelling of the genetic code. A change in a single letter of a particular gene, like the ATM gene, may have an impact on the way a person will respond to a medication, like metformin. Since we have two copies of each gene, one from our mother and one from our father, each person will inherit one copy of each gene from each parent. When genetic testing is performed, the results are noted as two letters representing the variant inherited from each parent. In addition to genetic variants, some drugs, when taken with metformin, can affect how your body responds to metformin and may increase the risk of side effects when taking metformin. It is important that you talk to your healthcare providers about all of the medications, both over-the-counter and prescription, as well as any supplements that you are taking, as they may interact with metformin. Do not make changes to any medications without talking to your healthcare providers. There are also foods and supplements that can interact with metformin. Avoid drinking alcohol while taking metformin. Drinking alcohol while taking metformin increases the risk of developing a condition called lactic acidosis. Get help immediately if you have any of the following symptoms of lactic acidosis. Weakness, increased sleepiness, slow heart rate, cold feeling, muscle pain, shortness of breath, or stomach pain. You should also avoid taking the herb Gymnemna sylvestri while taking metformin. Taking this herb while taking metformin may cause your blood sugar to become too low. Tell your doctor if you experience symptoms of low blood sugar, such as sweating, rapid heartbeat, and dizziness. As usual, there will be a lot of information in your CPMC results. Some of it will be general information, and some of it will be personalized to you based on your genetic test results. The About tab will provide general information. The Results tab will contain your personalized result, what we found in your DNA, and an interpretation of how your result impacts your likelihood of treatment success in response to metformin. As you can see in the sample report, the CPMC tests for one genetic variant in the ATM gene. The variant is listed by its RS number. This is the number used by scientists to name genetic variants. In the second column, you will find your results highlighted in yellow. In the last column, we give you the reference value or expected result. See the Your Result Interpretation tab for the impact of your genetic variant result on your predicted likelihood of treatment response to metformin. 
Your result interpretation will give you information about how your genetic variant result impacts your expected likelihood of treatment success with metformin. If a result for the variant tested could not be determined due to technical limitations, we will not be able to provide an interpretation. It is important to note that CPMC testing alone cannot fully predict your response to metformin or any other type of drug. Other factors like your weight, gender, race, other health conditions, and other medications may also influence the way a person will respond to metformin and other drugs. It is possible that you may have other genetic variants that occur in the ATM gene that are not tested by the CPMC. Also, it is possible that you may have variants in other genes that influence your response to metformin. For more information about your CPMC metformin drug response results, consider sharing your CPMC results with your healthcare provider or contact a CPMC genetic counselor. You can also read the information provided on the CPMC Health Education page.